Hello, and welcome back to the Unscripted Podcast. We're here back for our second episode. Some people said it wouldn't happen. I'm just kidding. No, nope, nobody, said that. <laughs> nobody said that. Maybe people were thinking it. You never know. Maybe. That evil eye is real. But we're returning it back to sender because that's not happening. <laughs> what is this? You have, <laughs> you have another video playing technical difficulties. So welcome back. This is our second episode. Clap for everyone. Clapping, clapping. We love that. We're joined by our two dogs here as well, Choco and Zoe. Everybody loved seeing Choco on the first podcast episode, um, so we figured that we might make this a regular thing. Keep them on and and see their little fluffy behinds and let the audience just look at them while you see we see Choco's talk. ears. Mm-hmm. They're gorgeous, gorgeous animals, and so... They deserve to be on display. And they're also, yeah, they're here for, for your enjoyment as well. So, um, glad that, that you guys like that. I mean, they're here anyway, so, you, you know, they might as well be on, on screen too. But, um, yes, so let's touch on the first episode. The first episode happened a week ago. Lots of positive feedback. Um, very happy about that. How are you feeling coming back for a second episode? feeling excited more less a lot less nervous than i was the first time <laughs> but yeah leading up to today i was like really excited for today to happen same it's same. finally here it's finally here um we're making every single episode bit of a production it kind of has to be we have <laughs> <laughs> we have little to work with but we're working with what we got and i think it looks really great i, I think it does too honestly pat on the back we're doing with what we have and it's going great so some top of the show stuff let's let's clean house real quick um so yeah we launched our first episode last week it went great lots of positive feedback which i love to see i love to hear a couple of people reached out personally and said like they loved it good job that we did great we're naturals and things like that so very much appreciate that thank you very much um Funnily enough, though, we posted like a couple teaser clips on Instagram and TikTok <laughs> and we got some like I sometimes I forget that like not everyone in the world is educated and intelligent and can fucking think for themselves <laughs> because I forget that people don't believe in climate change. Like people are fucking like flat earthers like. I just forget. I just forget. And so I was a little taken aback by our Instagram comments on the reel that we posted <laughs> about climate change. And I didn't even think twice about it. Like when I posted it, I posted it because it was a funny clip from that episode that we put out. And so I was like, oh, this this like encapsulates kind of like our dynamic and it's funny. And like we're talking about climate change, which is relevant. So I was like, OK, let me put that out, put it out. And then it does well, like, for the most part. But then, like, slowly, like, these, like, Instagram comments trickle in and it's like, oh, <laughs> like, climate change doesn't exist. And, like, I, I was just taken aback because I didn't, I forgot, I guess, that climate change is a controversial subject and that people don't believe that it's real. And so that shook me to my core. No, it didn't. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I just, there was some comments, like, I guess let's the read through one. them. Like... Let's see. So basically in the TikTok, we we said, like, I mentioned that we're in our global global boiling era and and uh, that, you know, it's been upgraded. Well, upgraded quotes from global boiling. No, global warming to global boiling. And um, people were like, boiling more like spaghetti in a fridge. <laughs> Like, what? That was your favorite comment. Yeah, that was my favorite, for sure. <laughs> you keep, like, referencing that here <laughs> and there. Because it's like, what? Like, it's not even a good comeback. Like, okay. And then, wrong. We are global frying, globally frying. And so, at first, I thought that that was, like, an actual... I don't believe I've seen that one. That I thought that, that was an actual um comment, like, saying that it's true like we oh, are like correcting like, you no no no. well yeah but like also in a sense agreeing with me because like no we're not boiling we're frying because it's mm. that it's that hot outside and i'm like 
yeah, where's the lie? You know, like mm-hmm. I said, true, haha. And then he comments back like two days later. He's like, it's sarcastic, da, da, da. And I'm like, if you're going to make a fucking joke, like make a joke. It, you're like, where's the lie? I mean, where's the, you know what I'm saying? Where's the lie, right? Yeah, like, where's the lie? Anyway, I just thought that that was funny <laughs> because, like, yeah. that honestly, it just amused me a bit. I, thoughts? <laughs> No thoughts. No thoughts. Just laughter. Yeah. Dude, she's out. They're getting comfortable. Oh, the look. dogs are getting comfortable here. This is the first time they've ever, like, snuggled up like that. Yeah. They don't even do this on their own bed. Like, oh, she's hot. She's, she's getting a little warm. They have lots of fur, so. Especially her. Especially her. Yeah. But, um. We're all globally frying here, so mm-hmm. so moving on. Um, we're in Mercury retrograde right now. <laughs> Something completely different. <laughs> um, I learned today because I am very like I'm into all that. He looks very cute. <laughs> I'm into I'm into learning about like the moon phases and like all that stuff. Like whatever, we won't get into that. But it's Mercury retrograde from August 23rd to September 15th. And I was researching more into that because so far, like knock on wood, I haven't experienced anything that is bad. I I don't want that energy. So I'm just putting that out there right now. I haven't experienced anything like super bad. Like sometimes we will experience things and we're like, oh my God, global, not global warming, sorry, Mercury retrograde. So I looked up like what signs are mostly affected this time around because every single Mercury retrograde, different signs are affected. So this month, the ones that are affected the most are Virgos, Sagittarius's, Pisces, and especially Gemini. Especially. Yeah. So check on your on your family and friends, folks. Check on your fellow Gemini's. They're struggling. Um, I hope that you're doing well. Keep your head up. Diving into a little bit of pop culture, though, um, a topic that I love a lot. I don't know what I don't know. Some people love pop culture, keeping up with, you know, celebrities and stuff like that. Some people don't. I personally do. I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, why do I love it so much? But I don't know. Why do you love it so much? I don't know. (laughs) There's, I think there's several reasons why. I kind of like follow some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. It is really, like a lot of it is really just entertainment purposes but i I was also just thinking about it the other day like my mom was obsessed when i was younger i I used to like whenever we went into the grocery store together she would always pick up a magazine no matter what and she would like read it like quickly like skim through it like as we were checking out and i'm like why catch the read the news yeah like she would like look into like what celebrities is like like the the front cover Mm. would catch her eye and then she would like read into it and me and my sisters would always be like, why do you care? Like, why do you care? And she's just like, it's interesting. It's interesting. And I'm the same way. Like, I mean, you know, there's no, like, real reason to care. But it's interesting. I like it. It's in our nature, maybe. It's in our nature, yeah. Probably. Maybe. It's also just an easy topic to talk about, I feel. That's true. I love talking about it with your sister and, like, with friends. It's, like, my favorite thing. Especially, especially if there's like some hot, some piping tea, yeah, going on. And there's Definitely. none of that this week. Um, there's a couple things in here that I was like, "Oh, what's up with that?" Yeah. Putting that in the dock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get into that later. But I just wanted to touch on some of the new mu- music that dropped mm. this week because a lot of artists dropped music this week. It's like the time to be an artist and dropping things. I almost feel like we, we might have even left out some because there was just a lot. Well, to my knowledge, I don't know if we did. But but, if, but we have um, like Miley Cyrus, Used to Be Young, Selena Gomez, Single Soon, Gucci Mane and J, J. Cole, There I Go. Victoria, Gucci who? <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Monet, um, her Jaguar 2 album, Brent Fias and Coco Jones, Moment of Your Life. And then Burna Boy, I told them. And then, of course, Ariana Grande's 10-year anniversary of her first album, Yours Truly. So just off the top of your head, what do you think is your favorite song that has dropped this far? Mm. 
Well, we've definitely been using um, listening to uh, "Used to Be Young" a lot more than all the others. That's but true. I did really like Gucci Mane's and J Cole's. To be fair, I only listened to that one once. Yeah, I, I believe I listened to that one twice, and then Brent Fires and Coco Jones once together. Mm-hmm. I listened to that one a second time. Oh, you did? But can I be honest? Yeah. Like I love the song when I well not love it, but I like the song. Like when when I was listening to it with you, and then when I listened to it again, I was vibing with it because it's a good vibe. But off the top of my head right now, I can't even tell you what the lyrics are or how it goes. So that says something. Yeah. That really says something. I mean, I don't remember the lyrics at all, but at I all. just remember like the the beat and the the whole vibe of the song being pretty good. You know? It was good. But like, do you remember how it went? No. Right. Tell me. No, I, could, me. I couldn't, yeah, tell, you. couldn't, tell, <laughs> couldn't me. tell you. So that but, says But something. we did like it. Well, I guess yes, I guess that, that's true. That's we true. We did, Cause, but I'm just saying the, it's like not a memorable song. Yeah, because the first time we did listen to Miley Cyrus' song, that one like, immediately you knew, knew the, the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, we were like, I know I used to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, th- so, so I guess something. it would be that one or the Gucci Mane and J Cole one, just because that one's just yeah, it's Gucci Mane and I J Cole. Really, I I as well loved Miley Cyrus' new song. I mean, how. Could you not? It's it's beautiful, beautifully written. It's emotional. It's nostalgic. We grew up with Miley in a sense, mm. with her on, being on TV and on a very popular kids show that we both watched. Um, so it's like sentimental. So I love that one. Um, I also really liked Victoria Monet's Jaguar album, Jaguar 2. They should drop it the same day as everybody else. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you showed me a couple of songs from her. They were pretty good. Mm-hmm. But I I gotta say I can't tell you how like it goes, how the how the I couldn't recite I to you started, the lyrics. If I started to say it though, I feel like you would. Really? Yeah, on that one that that we both really like liked. I put that on my own. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. You That's... know that song. Don't even start. Don't start with me. Don't start. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, of course, you know, I wasn't sure if we should talk about it or not, but we have to talk about it. It's the moment. You already know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Actually. I wasn't, but I feel like now that you said, you know what I'm talking about, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. So um, I'm talking about Ariana Grande. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew what you're talking about. Listen, <laughs> listen, as an Ari stan, like, not a stan, but you know what I mean. Like, I loved all her music. I mm-hmm. love, I love her. I love what she does. I love her, all of that. You know, that whole scandal was really hard. That whole scandal was really hard. It does mm-hmm. not make her look good. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look good, sweetie, at all. So it, that was, that was hard for me. That was hard for me. And I honestly contemplated not even listening to her new thing her new because she put out re-recordings of some of her or she's doing all of her um first album um i I contemplated not listening to it because like there's something about her just gives well i know but it just gives me the ick now it like me i just feel type of i mean it's pretty bad what she did no it is it's really bad like you you can't excuse that Mm -hmm. um but <laughs> but 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 there's a but there's a but <laughs> no 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 oh, I, I feel but? like well yes and no but i felt like we kind of have to because we have to be fair what are we just gonna say oh i hate that i hate that fucking album like you you can't just shit on it if you don't know what's going on like yeah. I, I wanted to be fair <laughs> and uh, give it a fair chance and of course like you and i watched it we watched the the live music video and by the end of it, I was like, all is forgiven, yeah, girl. Right. Like, the voice of an angel. Also, just, like, the vocals for the for the track. I yeah, it's like hard she's... to be mad at her when she ha- has that much talent. Like, It really is. It's and, tough. And, like, a lot of people say, like, <laughs> they when an artist, like, <laughs> <laughs> when an artist um, finds themselves in, in some type of trouble, like, they say, like, oh, you need to 
sometimes in some cases you need to separate the artist from the art yeah i think that's true because there's a lot of artists out there that are really talented but they have their own problems on the side in their personal life yeah i i just think like obviously that comes with a certain extent like if you're like <laughs> you know what I mean like there's a lot of very bad like you know what I was thinking yeah I know. I was thinking like some like yeah. allegedly Michael Jackson Stop. things like you know that kind of ruined his music for me and obviously he's a great artist but I'm just like delete me from this where, conversation where's the line like you know <laughs> so obviously there's there's things like that and like you know that you just can't excuse and you can't separate the artist from the art but I, I feel like I'm maybe it's just me I really no it's you too I feel like it's everyone like well for her in particular Ariana I'm saying like it's just easier to to do that with her for some reason because she's so talented and I don't know and because it wasn't as grave as um yeah I mean it could have been worse like yes it was horrible it was bad yeah it was so bad it was very bad but it was we funny what she did <laughs> but it was funny it was funny because i was seeing like tiktoks and like people commenting like honestly like ariana you can steal my man like <laughs> that's so funny um that's funny that's bad there's, there's that's another funny. one what was it oh support women's rights and women's wrongs <laughs> <laughs> that one's good too mm-hmm. that one's good too um so yeah a lot of feelings on that but we're we're kind of like too late to the game to discuss on that that's old news in my opinion so if anything else were to come i think up it that also story, speaks for itself it does everything's I've been, already talked about it There's... everything that has been said like everything that needed to be said has already been said so that was it for the music but actually so there's this like conspiracy i guess going around kind of regarding m- more regarding Justin Bieber and his wife Haley Bieber but it kind of also ties into Selena Gomez's new song Single Soon. So, hmm. let me see if I can if I can recite this off the top of my head. Okay. I haven't heard anything about this. Let me see if I can give you a preface, but I think we'll have to play the TikTok that I saw because she just she obviously explains it so okay, eloquently okay. and i don't know if i can do that justice but basically so you know how um justin and Haley are married mm-hmm. and they got married very soon after justin and selena split two months after okay they got married so people were like what the hell that's very fast who does that there must be a reason they say two months two months after he broke up with selena gomez he got married not just like you know what i mean like dang yeah so people were like why what's the reason like that's sus like it is yeah, it's... it's weird and so people were saying that um justin v- justin's visa was about to expire oh right right, right right so so he needed to marry someone fast so that he can stay here because he i don't think he can reapply because he has he had like some jail charges or whatever jail charge yeah i don't know i forgot what he did but but he he committed a crime or whatever so he can't reapply the only way that he could stay is if he got married so people were saying that okay so that's why he got married to Haley so fast blah blah whatever so um in order for it to not look like suspicious i believe that he has to stay with her for five years he had to be married to her for five years so this september i think they're coming up on their five-year mark really yeah it's already gonna be five years that's crazy yeah so i thought they just got married no no they did not um so yeah they're coming up on their five-year mark so people are saying like oh a divorce is coming soon Mm. like don't be surprised if you see justin and Haley getting a divorce very soon after this because well not legally but like according to whatever contract like he he can leave her and he can still be good to stay here so that's what they're saying. So tying into Single Soon, Selena Gomez releases a song called Single Soon. And he might be single soon. But also some the girl was saying that 
she might be doing like she might saying be saying that as like a diss to him and like in support of Haley, which I don't know. I don't know. But like she's saying like how so? Like, <laughs> thank you for your question. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how how in support of her? Like saying like, I don't care. Like I'm gonna break up with him. I know he's gonna be a mess, but I'll be single soon. Like, let me show you the yeah, TikTok. Just, let me show you the TikTok. But that's the preface. So that's the big conspiracy going around that supposedly they're gonna break up very soon um, because of all that. So Haley and Justin Bieber are heading to their five year mark, right? So it's gonna be five years that they've been married. So people are saying they're gonna get divorced soon because he can hardly have his own visa, right? Selena came out with a song saying single soon, single soon. And the TikTok where it's like, you know, the famous, um, Samantha line where it's like, oh, I left my wife, five year mark. Who is this? She doesn't give a fuck. That's what she's trying to say. Wait, Do you know what, what she's talking about? No, you don't no, know what don't. she's talking about. Okay, so Selena Gomez recently posted a TikTok mm -hmm. with a line from Sex and the City. The mm -hmm. girl, I guess her name is Samantha. And um, it's a it's a TikTok sound that's like kind of viral, I guess. And so the the trend is to like the guy is calling the girl that he's cheating on his wife with saying, I left my wife. It's over. And then the girl on the phone, Selena, mm -hmm. is saying, who is this? Selena posted that TikTok. Have you seen that? No, I have not. Yeah. So she posted that TikTok and people were like, what the fuck? Like, that's weird. Like, she knows what she's doing. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that, that's kind of weird, too. Like, yeah, it's weird. Like, <laughs> you, like these people know that it's going to get conversation sparked and, like, it's all, I don't know. Yeah, like, how could you post that and not think, like, they're going to... Like, you know. And you, you've been doing, like, you've been in this controversy for a while. Like, you, ha like, you have to know what you're going to do. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that that's context for what she just said right there. She's saying, I don't give three shits because I know you got it. you're going to get divorced soon. If anything, here, my support to Haley, single soon, period. So single soon is in Haley's POV? No. Or just like a line from there? I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it all kind of ties into because like she posts that like I'll be single soon and then like she also posted that TikTok and it's like, I'm leaving my wife. And she's like, who is this? So it's like, I don't, I don't care. You know, I don't care about you. I know that you're going to get divorced soon. Or like, I'm not going back to you type of thing. I mean, obviously I don't wish a divorce on anyone. I hope that they're, they're good. And this is all just for fun. Just but talk. Yeah. But that's what the streets are saying. Dang. The streets cooled. That's what they said. So on the topic of conspiracies, we have another one here that was a very interesting, which is why I thought to include it on the doc to me personally. So do you remember the crazy, the crazy airplane lady that was like, that motherfucker oh, right there yeah, that... is not real. I love that one. <laughs> that one's funny. Can I get your, can I get your rendition of that really quick? I haven't heard it in a while. No, nah, I'm not gonna do, do it. it. I need to hear. It. I need to hear it. Just the, can I hear the, it first? That motherfucker. Can I hear it first? <sighs> You're really gonna make me pull this out. But I am telling. <laughs> but I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's the point at that point? No, there's a point. There's no point. Do it. You literally had it right there. But I'm telling you right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go on. That that motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker right there. <laughs> is not real. You know what I hear? What? All I hear is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Okay. I'm telling you right now that that motherfucker, that motherfucker right there, is not real. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, sh stay. I don't want to get the dogs riled up. All right.
they you can't laugh because if not they... every time i laugh it like sparks this like joy in inside of zoe and she just needs to be with me and share that moment with me but she's she's the main human and i'm the spare one for her according to zoe yeah yeah that's true <laughs> but um don't going back to the plane lady care. Don't <laughs> care. <laughs> going back to the plane lady so there's this new conspiracy on her again i'll try my best to um reiterate what this tiktok it was actually another podcaster um was talking about it and i found it very interesting so basically um you know how that video of the plane lady surfaced and everyone was like bagging on her or ragging on her and she disappeared for like a couple weeks Quite or whatever. A long time, yeah. yeah like nobody heard from her she wasn't on social media she went silent and friends and family were saying like oh she's fine but like she's taking time or whatever like to not speak on this and then a couple of weeks after the incident happened she posted a video did you see this I believe I did. Um, it was kind of like apologizing for the incident. I don't, I don't really remember it, though. Yeah, so she posted a video coming forward about the video um, saying, like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. You may know me as the crazy plane lady. Uh, same. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think she was apologizing, and she was just saying, like, that she couldn't come forward because of work, and, like, she didn't want to lose her job, and, like, Things like that. Nobody could find her on social media when the incident happened, when the incident first happened. Yeah, everyone was looking for her. Yeah. But then when that apology video came out, she she posted, like, she came out with a social media account. And apparently the first person that she followed was TMZ. So it was, like, it was a weird thing. But I guess there was this, like, there's this technology that someone used. I, we'll have to watch the video. But there's this technology that someone uses that can, like, like ai your face and like it can like rank on a scale of like one to ten or whatever like if the face if it matches. If it matches so they took the video i will say the video looked a little weird if i remember what correctly. video her video her, her, her apology? apology Ooh, interesting yeah T. is that is that part of it that's part of it yeah, yeah so they're I, saying i was looking at it and it, it, what she make, looked a little different i don't know what different? it was like her her face looked a little different she did look a little different she did i will say that so let's just watch the video. No one's been able to track her down, oh, right? No. She just popped up this past week on TMZ. It's basically her just saying, I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. When I saw it, I was like, that doesn't look like her. We didn't know who she was for the first couple of weeks. Like, they couldn't even find a name. She started a new Twitter account when she posted this video. The first person she followed was TMZ. So people started doing, like, some AI face detection. There's this guy that does it online professionally, and he says if you get a score 0.6 or below, it is the same person. He put videos that were on the plane, videos that were outside the plane of the real Tiffany. And it's not her. 1.2. Guys, like, <gasps> I was not expecting this. He's wow. like, this makes me really interested. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you're, you're no, you're totally right. Um, I don't know. Like, they, they say, like, oh, this person that did it professionally you know like yeah you definitely need like sources to back it up or receipts of some sort i'm just mentioning this because i saw this and i thought it was super interesting Mm -hmm. um so take this with a grain of salt i remember everyone was like everyone check on her like Mm -hmm. because of obviously what she said on the plane video everyone was trying to look up her her like socials Mm -hmm. and they couldn't find it and then out of nowhere that apology thing came out and then the first i remember exactly the first thought was it kind of doesn't look like her mm-hmm. but i'm not too sure you know mm-hmm. i don't I know i couldn't tell you who knows so there seems to be kind of a theme going on with the segments here because um i was also once again scrolling on tiktok guilty i'm guilty Sorry. arrest me <laughs> um but i was scrolling on tiktok and i saw this video of a guy reacting to how cashews grow and he was he was so surprised about how they grow and i was like what the heck how do cashews grow so i looked it up and i fell down a complete rabbit hole the fucking floor just opened up and i just ah, and i was falling ah. and i landed in Wonderland, I don't know, Topsy Turvy Land. What did you find? I found some stuff. I found I, it just sparked a intrigue in me about creepy, weird 
origin stories that we don't know about, like how things were invented, why things were invented, and like yeah, that's always interesting. To, super like, learn interesting. About. Yeah. So it all started from fruit. So the first couple ones are about fruit. So forgive me for that. But but listen, like, do you know how a cashew grows? I don't. You don't. I I'm sure you don't either. So how do cashews grow? Good question. Let's see. They grow from a tree. It's a seed okay, I, that grows I that. on a cashew apple. Apple. An apple. Look at that. That's that's the cashew right there coming out of an apple. Can you eat the apple? I don't know. Maybe probably. Excuse me. That's weird. It's weird. I would have never thought that. Yeah. So that's interesting. You know, that's just something light. Then we go into pistachio trees. Yeah, I, I've I've looked at those. Like, look at that. That's a whole pistachio tree. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know I, how. I've I... fallen into that rabbit hole, the pistachio one. And, uh, and what'd you find? I believe they're hard to. You got to be careful with them because um, they could be very harmful to your health if you don't grow them right or something like that. Oh. That's what I remember when I, when I got in because I was like, I love pistachios. I want a tree, <laughs> but yeah. but then I saw that like you need to be careful. So because, can you like it can be very harmful to you? Can you like walk into Lowe's and like get like seeds or like a tree, like a plant, to start growing a pistachio tree? I don't tree? believe I've ever seen that, but maybe not there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All um, right. Interesting. So then there's Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. I definitely don't know how yeah. they're grown they grow like this that's like, pretty cool it's they very cool like it's like like the stem it's like a palm tree think of a palm tree for our, our yeah, audio that's listeners the, that's how i picture it audio bit. listeners listen up so think of a palm tree the bark of the tree the shaft if you will the shaft if you will is covered in brussels sprouts and then at the top these leaves are sprouting out and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight to see. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, it's interesting. I didn't know that that, that that was a thing. So there you go. And then pineapples. Do you know how pineapples grow? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> but look at that. That's like a pineapple yeah, farm that's, right there. Like, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. they, they grow on top of each other. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do you know... The muffin. The muffin. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were going there. I, I wasn't. It. I wasn't. I, well, you were. You no, were. initially, no. Initially, no. Yeah, but I knew you were going to get there. Well, you know my mind. So, do you know why chainsaws were originally invented? To cut down trees faster? No. Something more sinister. Something more dark. To cut limbs? Essentially, they were made for childbirth. What? <laughs> <laughs> to cut through the pelvises of delivering mothers who were having trouble pushing their babies out. So they would just fucking chainsaw like the the vajissi, yeah. They would just That's wild. Dude. Yeah. And I like... imagine though that it'd be like a smaller one to you know cuz now they make them like Kind of imagine, big, you know? <laughs> imagine the big ass fucking... I mean this is what it looked like that looks crazy that like That's I feel wild, like dude. they just like the, it's gonna get too graphic so I won't ouch. get into that but ouch yeah. is right so for our last segment here we have something very fun planned we talked about this last episode that we wanted to do a thrifted fashion frenzy challenge Okay, where well we go head to head to head to head. No, no, the dogs aren't involved. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. They're not. So the challenge was for the both of us to find a thrifted outfit from head to toe um, in 30 minutes at the thrift store. So we went to Goodwill and we gave ourselves 30 minutes. We, we wanted to see what we could do. And here's a little intro to that. For you we just pulled up to the goodwill we're about to start our 30 minute thrift challenge how are you feeling not good <laughs> not good, not good. Why? i don't know it's a lot of pressure 30 minutes i think you can do it 
Um, that's all I'll say. Let's get <laughs> off and get to it. Let's go. Let's so go. how do you think that you did during your time there? Um, it was kind of all over the place at first when you, when you first asked me in the car. I know I normally take my time with it. So I was like 30 minutes. That's not enough time with an hour. I know I can find something, but 30 minutes. I was like, I'm not sure I can do it. But that's the challenge. I I get, I get it. But it was like, "Ah, I've never done it. You know, we always stay there a little bit longer. And then sometimes I'm not even looking for a full outfit. I'm just looking for a shirt. Yeah. You're just looking for pieces. Yeah. I'm just looking for one piece. And to pull a whole outfit out in 30 minutes, I wasn't, I've never done it before. So I was just a little bit nervous, a little bit pressured. So yeah, I wasn't feeling too good. And then, um, I think at the end with that extra, like five minutes that you gave me, I think I pulled it together. So that's what it's it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So me going into it i i wasn't nervous for some reason i don't know why i just i, I yeah felt, you looked a lot more collected i felt like i had it in the bag you, honestly yeah you did you looked like you were you were just like, i was just ready i was just ready for the challenge and i it, it was gonna be fun so i didn't know what i was gonna come out with but my initial thought process was like okay how what how can i get the most the best look like most efficiently and the fastest because like Mm -hmm. we're on a time budget we need to make it work so what'd you find first so my game plan was don't be looking well this is this is hard for you because like you're a man so like you don't have these types of things but Mm -hmm. for me i was like here's my game plan i'm gonna go straight to the dresses that way that's that's my full look i don't have to look for top i don't have to look for bottom i have to look for skirt nothing Mm -hmm. so i'm like let me go to the dresses Go to the dresses. I find this really cute, like, satiny, Cheater. green dress. I was like, ooh, that's cute. The strapless. No, no, no. Strap? Like a strap. Strappy dress. Mm-hmm. It was very cute. But then I kept looking, and I found what I found. I'm not going to spoil it because then we'll, we'll, we'll Yeah, see. I'm excited to see but what yeah. you got. Yeah, and then, and then I ran to the shoes. And I found some shoes. I honestly should have started there. Like, that's where... At the shoes? Yeah. Because I, I feel like normally I find shoes a lot faster. That's like, you hard, know, though. Yeah, no, it, it is hard. But I feel like normally for me, I find shoes more often. Like, I mean, if you remember, I found, like, three shoes first. I would find the shoes first because that's where I would just kind of gravitate towards. And then I... would like look at everything else afterwards but this time i went to the opposite (laughs) i went i went to the shirts first yeah i i I feel like that's hard to do to build the outfit off of the shoes first because that the outfit itself is the more more or less the most important part but at like, the same time, have, like, all your pieces have to go towards yes, the same direction. Yes, and, and that's why I feel like you have to prioritize the outfit because the outfit's what... Like, I'm going to judge you off your outfit. If I see that your shoes are, like, whatever, like, big deal. Your shoes are ugly, like, you know? <laughs> but, like, the outfit is what matters. But if the outfits... The outfits... <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe is, like, smart, then you've got to go for a smart outfit. If the shoe is more like sporty, no, then you I agree. Go smart, I uh, agree that the outfit. shoe sets the tone for yeah, exactly. like what you're going for. Yeah. But at the thrift store, that's hard. You can't like predict what you're gonna get. And that and that's what we didn't mm. make clear. Like, are we going for shoes or not? I I had originally thought that we were. So that's yeah. why I was like, I was like so stressed because I was like, I don't know if I could find shoes here because mm-hmm. sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And it all honestly really came down to your budget. We had a budget of forty dollars, mm-hmm. and so if your budget allowed, get the shoes. If not, like it's not we a big would, deal. We would have just we would have just different. yeah, or just like not shown your shoes. Um, but yeah, I'm, it all I'm so on glad I found some though. I ended up finding some. Mm-hmm. So, so the total budget was I don't even know. We'll, we'll pull out the receipts right now. But would you like to go first, sir? And show us your outfit. Sure, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. 
first up is Dre. Is look one. Here we go. Look at you. Nice little head to toe action. Let's zoom in for the details here. Gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. Little red bottom action. So, what do you have to say for yourself about this look? What does this look say about you? Um, I don't know what it says about me, <laughs> <laughs> but it is like, oh, like. 1930s 1940s golf vibe. oh so we have an era this is the 1930s 1940s golf era um great great this is what i fell into then. i wasn't trying to go for this but this is what this is what happened i'm not, I'm not mad i'm not mad we are certainly not mad at it either you were looking fantastic stunning in the shoes and the shorts and the top Serving face. <laughs> and how much do you estimate that you spent on this? I believe about like $32. $32. There you have it, folks. There is look one. Back to you. So here's the second look by Alyssa. Let's see how it looks. Trying to scooch on in here. <laughs> Hello. Wow. This is the second look. Let's Let's see. Not let's as see. graceful as you. Wow. But here it is. It's giving see those shoes. Wow. It's giving Wednesday Adams core with a cute little bag. Very much so. Very much. And I believe you said you had another piece to go with this. Oh, I do, but I, I don't know if I would particularly pair this together. I just bought it because it fit in my budget. Should I still show yeah, you? Yeah, de you definitely had like a lot more room to work with. Yes. But yeah, I want to see that piece. I want to see that piece. I'll, I'll show you it. But but this ensemble here together was about like $20, okay. including the bag. Okay. So very cute. Nice. Um, fun fact about the shoes. They're actually really big. Um, I have a oh, pair of are. socks underneath my long socks. And so that's kind of what's giving me a little bit more more uh width in there mm. but these are a size 10 i'm a size like eight and a half so okay you see that room oh i see it <laughs> there now. you go i'm like i don't think he believes me like there's room yeah no there. so i had extra time to look around and um i thought maybe i could look in the jacket section to see if there was anything that i could throw over this okay. then i found this gorgeous burnt orange wow. corduroy jacket from forever 21 um nice it's very cute. I will throw in a little clip here of me trying it on. With a different fit? With a different fit. Okay. Ten dollars at Goodwill. Nine ninety nine. So nine ninety nine. Very gorgeous. Just don't think it's it's going good for this outfit. So Yeah. I think this stands alone. Stands alone. Definitely. And um looks good. That's all I'll say about that. So that was our thrifted look. Um, each of us put together a thrifted look. Um, go ahead and let us know which one won that round. Um, we're very much looking forward to another one. And <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? Yeah. Um, yes, we're looking forward to doing another one. My co-host here has expressed that he'd like to do another challenge. So maybe we can do something like this in the future and maybe like put more rules on it or like put a spin on it maybe make a theme something fun um but i enjoyed it this was like something that we had planned to do um but we spontaneously decided today like in the morning let's pull this off and then we ran to the store and did it i think it turned out pretty well i'm pretty happy with my look pretty happy with mine and that's all that you can ask for um i feel like lately the thrift store has been popping off mm -hmm. for a while there like there was nothing at the thrift store that was like yeah. <laughs> nothing and lately um when we've been going like pretty much every time we come back home with something with something at least mm -hmm. at least one piece or something yeah if it's not closed it's like a book or um decor or like a game or something mm -hmm. um so check out your local thrift stores all right stop sleeping on them actually maybe still sleep on them that way there's more stuff for us <laughs> yeah. but yeah um so that was fun and we look forward to more 
things like that in the future. But we'll post on social media pictures of our outfits and we'll have you guys rate them. We'll see who won and then we'll announce that in next week's episode. So look forward to that. But actually next week is our anniversary. So we're turning a year. We're celebrating a year of marriage and we're actually going on a road trip. Road trip. (laughs) Yeah, we're going on a road trip. So um, next week's episode we're thinking to do something possibly different it's it's not certain yet but we're thinking maybe we'll do the episode in the car ride because we have the road an eight hour car ride ahead of us so might as well might as well knock it out then might as well um so if you have any like road trip games or questions like that we are more than happy to answer that any any type of suggestions really yeah anything let us know Mm -hmm. and we'll try and get to them in next week's episode so stay tuned until then subscribe and uh comment and like and share and share and follow and follow definitely follow yep all right all righty bye bye